So what I wanted to show you in this video is an updated audit logging script for your uh, Microsoft 365 environment. Now, to run that script, you'll have to complete a number of prerequisites first. Now, the first prerequisite is to make sure that the audit log search uh, is enabled for the tenant. Uh, you find that in uh, the Office 365 security and compliance area, under search and then under audit log search, make sure that it is enabled and you don't have a banner saying that you need to enable it. Now, the next thing is to go and grab the, the script. Now you'll find that at my GitHub repository, github.com slash director CIA in the Office 365 repo. And the file, the audit PowerShell script is 0365-login-audit.ps1, which you will uh, basically see there. So copy and paste that um, or download it into a, a local area. Now, I've already done that. Now, once we've done that, we then need to make sure that we have our environment set up uh, for PowerShell so that it can connect to all our Microsoft online um, services. And we do that to make sure that all the modules are loaded. Now, once that has been completed, which has been done in this case, you will then need to go and um, basically connect to the Exchange Online uh, environment. Now, you'll need to... Uh, Again, run a, a script to do that typically. And if you want, uh, there is a script available in that same repository called 0365-connect-exov2ps1. So when I run that, that's going to basically ask me to log in to my uh, Office 365 uh, environment. So I'll do that and complete the MFA request for that as well. Now, we now have the audit logs enabled for our tenant. We have set up our PowerShell environment to connect uh, to Microsoft Online, and now we are connecting to the Exchange Online. So you'll see the script has come back and confirmed that we are connected to Exchange Online. So once we've connected to Exchange Online, the next option is then to go in and run this login order script. Now you'll do that by typing in the script name, which is 0365-login-audit.ps1, which I've done here, and we simply hit enter on that. That will go out and execute the script for us. Now you'll see that by default, it's only going to check for one day's worth of audit logs. Now we can vary that. I'll show you how to do that shortly. You'll see that it's confirmed that it can connect to Exchange Online. It's now gone in, out, and and got the uh, unified logs. Okay, so it will need to page through that to, to do that. So again, it may take some time depending on how many logs are in there and how much data you want to get. So you'll see here, these are all the results and you'll notice that uh, successful logins are in green and failed logins are in red. So you can easily um, call those out and see what's going on. So out of the box, when you just run the script with no parameters, you will get a day's worth of logs and you'll get all the logs. Now what we can do is we can run that, but we can put in the option here, minus fail. Now if we do that, it will run the script again with the standard uh, one day's worth of logs. But in this case, what it's going to do is it's just going to show us the failed login. So they are highlighted in red. So we can now go in and basically uh, focus on those if we want to. Now, not only can we do the failed logins, we can also, if we put in the days parameter, uh, we can nominate how many days worth of logs we want to view. So by default, it will be one. So let's say that we want to pull back three, uh, hit three and hit enter, and then you'll see that we get confirmed the number of days it's going to search through. The time taken to search may take a bit longer because it's got to pull obviously more logs so again be patient you'll see it click through the the number of pages it's got to go through and then again it will show us all the failed logins for that uh, period of time now what is also happening so there we go so you'll see these are the failed logins over that period uh, of time for three days now the other the last option here is to actually create a CSV file. So what that will give you is a file you can manipulate in Excel. So again, if you just add the minus CSV uh, option there on the command line, again, hit enter. Let's go in for two days this time. And we'll see that when it runs, it will do the same process, get the uh, logs for us, and again, show those uh, results on the screen. But we also get an additional line here indicating that 
um, a CSV file has been written. So if we have a look here, you'll see that we get the notion here that a CSV has been written into the parent directory. All right, so if we shell out here and go in and have a look uh, basically at that location on my C drive. So if I go in here, go into downloads, uh, go into the source directory. All right, so basically sort by date modified so we can see so you'll see here here is the uh, csv file that has been created now when the csv file is created a new one is created uh, on each script run so if you do specify the minus csv you'll get a new csv file every time you use that option it will have uh, basically a, a different name here so you'll see that we've got the columns uh, for our client ip for the uh, what happened, the operation, and also um, the user ID as well. So we can track that uh, down for us. Now we can use Excel to filter and sort. Now the other thing you'll notice is that with every run of the script, there is a log file that is created, all right? So that's called o365-login-audit.txt, and that will basically show you what's on the screen. So that might be good for troubleshooting. But remember that when you run um, the script, this um, log file, the txt file will be overwritten, but we will potentially get a new CSV file. All right, so again, if we run this just out of the box with none of those parameters, what happens is, is we basically will get the logs for a single day. We won't get a CSV file uh, in there as well, and we'll see the results from uh, both successful and unsuccessful logins. All right, so again, that is the option out of the box. And remember that you can uh, vary that if you want by, like I said, specifying the uh, parameters there. All right, so you'll see that you can specify three parameters, any combination of those three. Minus fail will just show you the failed logins. The minus days will allow you to select how many days of logs you want to uh, report on. And the CSV will create a CSV output file for you. So you can bring that into Excel and play around with it if you want. So hopefully, again, that has given you uh, some benefit there so to find that file don't forget to go to my github repository github.com slash director cia look in the office 365 repo and look for the o365-login-audit ps1 you can go in here and look at basically all the code now don't make sure that you do read uh, some of the notes here so things like uh, what to expect the prerequisites uh, and obviously you're free to have a look at the code and see how i've gone about doing it Remember that uh, this is in a process of always being updated. Make sure that you check back into the GitHub repo on a regular basis to see if there are any updates or improvements. If you do have any suggestions um, for me, please don't hesitate to contact me. And also, if you do have maybe suggestions for new scripts, what you'd like to see built or problems you'd like to see solved with PowerShell and Microsoft 365, also, please don't hesitate to uh, get in contact with me. But with that, thank you very much for watching.